Alright, hello everyone, it's Happy and today I'm going to be showing you the best settings for World of Tanks Blitz and uh, the best settings to do well in general. So let's not waste too much time, let's go to the settings straight away. So uh, let's jump into graphics and then we can go into controls. So water quality, object and terrain quality, as well as tank quality are all visual, are just visual guys. It doesn't matter if it's on low or high, it won't uh, affect your gameplay too much. So if your device can actually handle it, you can go for high. If your device can't and you have a weak device, just go for low because at the end of the day, we're going for stats and uh, you know, this doesn't uh, affect stats too much apart from just uh, being visually nice. Next, effects quality. This is important. I suggest everyone go low with the effects quality. Why? Because let's say there is a corpse and uh, the corpse is there. However, your enemy is hiding behind the corpse, then uh, hitting his weak points could be a pain in the bum, especially if the fire is vibrant and the fire is quite active and hitting those weak spots could be a pain in the bum. Therefore, I suggest going lower, ultra low. I wouldn't suggest going for medium or high because again, we're playing for stats. We're not trying to make the game look super nice and neat. But then again, it's just personal preference and I'm giving you advice. Next, draw distance. You can put it on low, not ultra low, low or high. It depends again on your device. This doesn't affect the gameplay too much. It's just uh, another visual thing. Therefore, uh, you know, the uh, it just makes the, uh, the image nicer from further away. Simple. Next, fog quality. You can put it on medium. I suggest just go for medium. Low or high or ultra low is just going to make the game look uh, kind of dead. I don't know why. It just gives me bad vibes. So I suggest put it on medium. Low just takes the takes the life out of the game while high makes it you know too colorful at least for me next uh, filtering you, you don't put it under 4 4x or 8x i go with 8x and same with the the next setting just go for 2x simple i don't know i'm just used to it so i can't uh, talk about it too much here next frames per second obviously 60 or 120 if you have 120 go for 120 that makes sense if you have 60 go for 60 if you're in a low-end device just go for 30 but 60 is still very nice because 30 is unplayable camouflage again personal preference it won't change too much offer for all players next it's super important go for flora quality off completely off because it's going to be a pain in the bum especially in sniper mode and it's just going to get in the way etc etc so turn it completely off just off and uh, you'll see that uh, you actually do a bit better with the uh, the uh, the grass plants etc etc out of the way next we have a shadow display here again it's personal preference it just makes the game nicer so you can go with off or high it won't change your statistics too much it just depends on your device <clears throat> next Shell hit marks are super important. This uh, shows you if you're in a bad angle or etc. Or if you're over over angling etc. etc. And it allows you to, for example, hit the ammo rack twice in a row. For example, you see where you hit, and then if the ammo rack is damaged, you can shoot the same place, and the tank will blow up. And this is super important, especially when burning tanks. So that's a quick life hack. Definitely have shell hit marks on. Uh, you can. Uh, Turn off track traces completely. They're kind of useless. They're again, just a visual thing and completely useless in terms of statistics. Next, we go to controls. <clears throat> Auto aim with a button because you need to be able to turn the turn it on and off. I myself don't play with auto aim in sniper mode. Uh, therefore, uh, I still have the, the button because sometimes I do uh, change it in between, especially depending on the situation. So definitely have it with a button. The joystick has to be fixed, at least for me. It depends on personal preference. Next auto aim version, I recommend going with old and then have a lookout area, have a lookout area. It's super important. It is very, very important because you don't want to be turning your turret in order to look at, you know, your right side or left side. So in order to look out, uh, for example, to your right side or left side without turning your turrets and exposing your sides, go for a lookout area. Super important. Everything else I have off. I don't have left handed. Everything else is uh, personal preference apart from ammo bar remain. Uh, I mean, leave it in the expanded position. So turn that on definitely because it'll help you shoot a lot faster. Next is camera sensitivity. I have it on 88 on an iPad. So if you have a phone, go for, you know, 75, maybe, maybe 80. It really depends though. I can't be telling you what camera sensitivity to use, at least for me. Uh, shooting those targets with a lower camera sensitivity is a lot easier. Next is joy joystick sensitivity. Whew, go for 100% because, you know, I'm just used to it. So it's again, it's all personal preference here. 
Next, when you come to the controls, this is how I put my controls. It, again, this is all personal preference, guys. You just have to have the feel for the game. For example, how uh, you swipe your finger and, uh, you know, in order to practice this, I suggest closing your eyes and doing a swiping motion with your finger and therefore you can know which side to put the uh, the fire button to the, the sniper mode button, etc, etc. This feels natural to me, so don't go and copy this, guys. This is personal preference. Do it yourself. Uh, turn off your phone, try swiping with your closed uh, closed eyes, and then you'll know for sure how to uh, put your controls. So that's simple, guys. That's simple. There's not too much left to do in terms of HUD, blah, blah, blah. Everything else doesn't matter too much. Everything else doesn't matter too much. So those were the general settings on how to, uh, you know, improve your gameplay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Happy is out. Bye-bye.